end of the year fellowship yesterday in this altar and they were dancing like people that God delivered several cars and several houses and break forth on every area they forgot all their pains and sorrow for the reassurance and remembrance that God the Redeemer has you know become their savior and their strength and their shell so replacing on Christmas carol we are reminded of not only his birth but what his birth symbolizes you may be seated in case you have forgotten all the rendition of the choir is a direct revelation and a direct reflection of what his past stands for so we are setting up this carol to remind us and to activate our faith that first and foremost a prophetic agenda of god was fulfilled in jesus a virgin shall conceive that sounded very impossible how can a virgin conceive not knowing a man the god who is the creator of the heaven and the earth is able to do all things a virgin shall conceive he who does not know a man shall have and carry what those who know men can carry And that is to remind you and I today that with the birth of Jesus, your impossibilities have been made possible. Yeah. And grace has been supplied to make your impossibles possible. And tonight, I declare, I don't know where you are connected to this broadcast. And those of you in the house, I say to you that your impossible shall become possible. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9. I, I think if we dwell only in that scripture, we are done, and that will be fine. Praise the Lord. Can I hear a living hallelujah from somebody? Somebody who is not a suspect. Can I hear a living hallelujah from you? Somebody who is, not, who is here not just to wear his cap and his red clothes, but to have a direct renewal of his salvation. Can I hear you shout a living hallelujah? All right, Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. And of course, Prince of Peace. Today, I was coordinated with an ambassador for world peace. And I still, there, there's only one person that can make for world peace. And that is the God that I serve, that you serve. Jesus. His name is the Prince of Peace. So, his part was a prophecy of God's plan. I will give peace not to the world but to the heart of the men in the world because i don't know what we're going to do to make the world peaceful anymore i was watching a video clips sent from us yesterday and the video clip said i'm not saying it for you to worry but i'm saying it for you to sit up you know agumetin is manufactured by pfizer Pfizer is the world leading pharmaceutical company. One of the world leading pharmaceutical company. And Agmatin is good for the cure of typhoid and malaria. It has its in injection, in tablets, and everything. And then some Nigerian doctors in the U.S. have been using it to sustain a lot of lives. But last week, the American government introduced vaccination. You have to take vaccine. And they've paid a lot of money. So, one of the doctors went to um, CVS, my wife should know CVS, CVS to buy agomatin to treat his patient. And they told him that agomatin is out of stock. When will we have it? Unknown. Because the same company manufacturing this is the same company that manufactured it for vaccine. 
So what happens tomorrow when somebody has typhoid and somebody has malaria and our faith and our hope is hanging on those things that are made? What happens tomorrow? Fear will be born and fear can lead to death. I use this time to let you know that there's nothing you can do about what God said will happen. The, the world is already in the end time. So if you like, accept the reality of the prophetic gospel. And accept the reality of the fulfillment of the prophetic gospel. A child shall be born. And this child will be the only saving place in the whole world. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and he's saved. It's an individual race. If you don't believe that he came for you, he can never walk in you. Are we here? And if your faith is not built on what he came for, you might not be able to survive what is coming. But I tell you, if fear kill you, you go to hell. Because my calculation in, in the Bible is that fear is a sin. Fear is an expression that you are half believed that there is no God. Faith is the opposite of fear. Faith says there is God. Fear says there is no God. So if you take fear and you go home on time, you will miss God there in heaven. I miss everything here on the earth. Now the Bible says, a child is born unto us. A son is given. There is a son in the child that will be born. And a, a son here talk about legitimacy. They talk about legacy. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Can you hear someone say government? I didn't hear your voice. You are sounding like someone that is waking up from sleep. The word government talks of rulership. It also talks about a sizing authority over the affairs of life. Government will not be upon the, the, upon the shoulder of your government. That just a publication yesterday that if you are caught in the public without a mask, you'll be fine. You'll be arrested and judged and sent to prison. Already the prison is congested. Praise God. So that is contradiction plus contradiction plus contradiction. Because when the world gets confused, okay, they will get more confused. The government of God has never been confused. Are we here? And we never be confused. And when you receive Jesus, you become a member of the cabinet of the government of God. You become an ambassador of heaven living on the earth to enforce the will of God on the earth. So what Jesus came to do is to make you an ambassador. And the Bible talks about his names. His names are definition of his functions. Praise God. Are we here? His name shall be called what? Somebody to be wondered at. Now you imagine a child born and you saw, we saw three senior men described as wise men journey for six months to come and honor the child that is born. That's a wonder. To come and greet a child that is born. That's a wonder. And they did not only greet the child. They came there and they prostrated before the child. And they bowed before the child. And they gave gift to the child. Was it the child they were buying to? They were buying to the grace the child was carrying. They had a recognition that this is not just a child. This is the savior of the world. Including the savior of their soul. They left all they were doing to go and do the announcement of the fulfillment of God's plan. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, you become also a wonder to your world. Nations will wonder at your life. People shall wonder at your purposes in Jesus' mighty name. 
Now, what happened next? He said the name also will be what? Counselor. Counselor. He's the one that shows the way so that you can make a right choice. It cancels your mind, weighs the option in your mind, and show you the value of each of the auction and help you to take decision through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Counseling is to help you out of your confusion without you paying any price. His name shall be called Counselor. So when you become a child of God, you begin to receive counsel from God. Are we here? That's why the Bible says the way, the truth, and life. No one commit unto the Father except by Him. You can't miss the way anymore. I said to you, you have missed the way for too long. You are now on the way that God has appointed for you. And no man shall confuse your destiny anymore. No child shall confuse your destiny anymore. You will stand tall on the very plan and agenda that God has ordained for your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Then the Bible also says, the, 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 the third definition of his name is the mighty God. The child that will be born will have the same status and the same definition and authority and power as the mighty God. So it's going to be a replication of God, an incarnation of God to represent and do everything that God can do. Are we here? What's his name again? Shout it. So there are, there are God, but there's the mighty God. There's mightiness in Christ. And to them that receive him, he gave power to become mighty. I prophesy that in the new season of life, mighty art shall follow your life. Some of you are not saying amen in this house. And also the name shall be called everlasting father. Father is the one that cares. It's not just God that saves. It's God that cares. It's God that heals. It's God that directs. It's God that shelters. It's God that provides. It's God that feeds you. That's why his name is called the everlasting father. He doesn't grow old. He doesn't grow weak. He does not aspire in height and size and power. What is now is what will be forever. That is the God in Christ. And that is the God in your life. Come on, are we here? I feel God. I don't know what is in you speaking. Oh, you are fading away. I just got home from three days retreat. And my wife said, are you going to the church? I say, yes, pack my bag. I've told God. You see me at home by Sunday. Praise God. We, we don't spend our own strength. We spend his strength. Because you must have a purpose. When the Christian has a need and is sleeping, okay, you know, like somebody that has lost his mind, there's a way you sleep that you sleep off your mind. There's a way you spend your life and your time. Okay? That God looked down from heaven and he see how unserious you are. I was telling them in the meeting we had last night that only those that have expectation can, 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 can experience manifestation. If you lack expectation, you will lack manifestation. Praise God. And you can't have expectation and be lazy about and get confused and try to just walk up and down. Medical science will tell you that one of the ways of keeping fit is to count how many steps you took in a day. One of my sisters said to me, the doctor said I should take at least 500 steps every day. Praise God to remain fit. Now, God in Christ does not fade away. It does not expire. And if you have received the power in Christ, you will not fade away cheaply. 
You are not saying amen. amen. Are you learning another thing? And then the last one there says the Prince of Peace. George, Christ will give you peace whether you have money or you don't have money. We call it peace of mind. That's absence of pressure. When you continue to live in pressure because of, of fulfilled need, Christ is not in your heart. Praise God. That is why the Bible said in Isaiah 55, say, come and buy without money. In Christ, whatever money can buy, grace can deliver. And finally, the Bible says, joy to the world, the Savior is born. Which means that before it's bad, there was no joy to the world. I said to you, as you celebrate Jesus in this season, you are joy is restored. Joy to your house. Joy to your marriage. Joy to your family. Joy to your destiny. Joy to your business. Joy and joy and joy and joy and joy. Every day. Come on right to your feet. Joy to the world. Come on, release your pet. Prepare him room and heaven and nature, heaven and nature, and heaven and nature, and heaven and heaven and joy to the world, joy to the world. by God to produce orange oranges now supposing the enemy decided to take orange to invent evil has God's purpose for orange be fulfilled it also means that creatures were crying in pain so when Jesus was born light came into the world the demand of darkness was reduced drastically are we here and nature all creation and the heaven and the earth came under their liberation to begin to do what they were created for lift up your hand as you celebrate the birth of jesus by the grace of god you shall manifest your purpose The heavens, the earth, and the nature 
She has sent joy to the world because of your lie. No creature is permitted to be used to destroy the will and blood of God for your life and my life. In the name of Jesus, right? Wheresoever you are disconnected from your destiny star, from this night, your destiny star shall be reconnected. Your star shall appear again. No one can stand against it. No one can stop it. And Jesus' name shall be glorified in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, jump hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's have a wonderful seat. As we welcome Minister Loretta for the fifth Bible reading this evening. Luke chapter 2, verse 6. To 17. Come on, jam your hands together. Praise the Lord. Let the church shout a joyful hallelujah. And the Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke chapter 2 from verse 6 to 17 and I read. And so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Verse 8. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. Verse 10, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior which is Christ the Lord. Verse 12. And all these shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there, were, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Verse 15. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. Verse 17 and the last. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying, which was told to them, which was told them concerning this child. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going higher. Somebody say we are going higher. To continue this wonderful 2020 Carol Night service. We want to welcome the children choir that will give us ones in Royal David City. Jam your hands as Dominion children comes up. Come on, keep clapping for them as they are coming up. Children, we are the Dominion Children Choir. We are here to present a song, and as you listen, may, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Once 
Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For our sixth Bible reading this evening, which will be taken from the, Luke, the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 15 to 20. We will now welcome Sister Mercy. Jam your hands together, Sister Mercy, come up. Right after Sister Mercy, we'll be hearing the anointed dominion voices, jingle bells. Praise the Lord. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, from verse 15 to 20. I read, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. Verse 16. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying, which was told them concerning the child. 18. And all, they, and all they that heard it wondered at those things which we are told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them into her heart. Verse 20 at the last. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Oh. Can we rise on our feet as we dance to the Lord?
Hallelujah. I announce to you that it's time for your light to shine forth. He that carries lies shall not walk in darkness. Now, Jesus came as the light of the whole world. I want to share with you just two scriptures. Just two scriptures. Uh, let me get there. Hallelujah. Take your journey with me to Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 2. And it says, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Now, this is another prophecy fulfilled. The three wise men that came to his bath were actually one of the generation that were walking in the dark. But suddenly, they saw a strange light. And they knew that that light came to change the season. When you see the light of God, then it means that God has remembered you for a new season. I don't know whether you are here. After this carol night, you and your family shall walk into a new season. Every shadow of the old seasons of pain, trials and tribulation shall come under the shadow of light and they shall expire in the name of Jesus. The truth is that they were walking in the dark, but they never knew they were walking in the dark. Nobody can see how valuable he is in the dark. You can't see yourself in a mirror in the dark. So light reveals your values. Light reveals your beauty. Light reveals your destination. You know where you're going and how to get there. Come on, I say to you, a cry. Your life shall be at the end. Everywhere that darkness has covered your destiny, it shall be disconnected. In the night, your light shall shine. In the day, your light shall shine. Now listen to me. This light is not the normal natural light. This light is the supernatural light. It's a revelational light. It was the kind of light that arrested Paul. When you carry the light that God has given to you, your source shall be arrested. Your hammer shall be arrested. Your enemy shall be arrested. I see your light break forth. I see your enemies confused. I see the wicked around you and against you disappear from you. I see the enemies of your last minute miracle bow to your life. Hey. So God is going to cause a revelation of you to you. You're going to come on that super light. Someone says super light. Now God is begin to going, go, going to start working in your mind. The devil will stop working in your mind. When you see the light of God, God begins to walk in your mind. Are we here? You know, it starts, it will, it will be revealing and interpreting the word of God. Okay? In your mind. You'll be hearing the sound of God in your mind. That's why when I was writing that book, The Voice of the Scripture, I was trying to let believers know that Scripture has a voice. And the sound first of all in your mind, and then begin to sound in your ear, and then capture your entire emotion, and disconnect you from the confusion of the world, and begin to lead you to the plan and perfect, you know, order of God. This was what Jesus came to do. The people that walked in darkness have seen great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. When you walk in darkness, you are almost at the trap as near of death. And I said to you tonight, by your presence in this house, you shall not die. 
I didn't hear living amen. Yeah. Then he said again, upon them at the light shine tonight. As we come to the singular event, candle light, candle night is a memorial of one of the most important events that changed okay the course of history in the whole of humanity our candle light tonight is about how the birth of jesus changed and turned the event of history so we are once again gathered in a candle light to lift it in the unit you know in the in the, in the symbol of unity to say to god we acknowledge the part of our savior we acknowledge the light that he came with and we acknowledge that it is time for us to manifest this light and you will carry this light and cross over to 2020. do i have a witness in the house now the next scripture is um, matthew chapter 5. i told you i will share two scriptures with you matthew chapter 5 verse 13 from verse 13 we graduated from there are we okay are we here now verse 13 says you are the salt of the earth you are the value the word their salt talk about test and talk about value so when the bible says you are the salt of the earth it's talking about you are the reason why the world around you have test and you are the reason why the world around you have value but he said but if the salt have lost its savour, where we shall it be salted it is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be thrown in on the foot of men everyone before the advent of christ no matter how big no matter whatever they are doing had no eternal value revalue is how you end the life revalue is not where you occupy physically but where you occupy supernaturally you look popular everyone seems to know you but the question is does god know you do you actually have a covenant with god is there fruit of the spirit manifesting in your life is there an assurance that with time you will meet with your savior i don't just want you to rise up and, and light your candle i want you to rise up and make a reflection in your heart before you light your candle because the candle must shine to reveal value now look at verse 14 then we will close you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden i stop there you are what what did the bible describe you as and where are you set upon this city on the hill is a believer in the covenant and the bible says it cannot be hidden listen to me the new year coming is your year of supernatural announcement i know you will love that you have been hidden enough it is time to break forth and it is time to begin to man manifest what you are carrying in your life your ability shall manifest your career shall manifest you are your you are your you are, you are gifting shall manifest it is time for your manifestation it's time for your divine announcement now he came as only one light god does not need too many light because once god reveal himself as light everything that comes around him become an extension of him only one light lighten the whole world i don't know who is the problem in your family but as the light today 
Yes, now, now with them also in the shadow of unity, I, I assure you, light will go back to your foundation. Light will go back to your house. Light will go back to your environment. And the grace of God will be sufficient to reveal the purpose of God for your life. I like us to rise to our feet. That's a song. The song you're supposed to sing now, you sang it before. Did you connect? Hallelujah. Check your manual. You know the song you should sing now. So what happened to you today? Too much anointing. Praise God. Hallelujah. The light is going to go off. That night of his path was a silent night. There was no star anymore. The moon disappeared. The star disappeared. All the sound of heaven became silence. Everything. Everything went off. But the glory of the Lord came down. When God wants to speak, every God will be quiet. When God rises up on his throne, every throne will bow. Tonight, Lord, we reflect that same night in the eve, the manger, and how suddenly you decided to disconnect the help of men for the delivery of our Savior. Darkness is everywhere. The darkness is everywhere. But we wait for your light. He said the people that dwell in darkness unto them a great light and shine forth this candle here symbolizes the path of our savior as the light of the world his path restore light restore your plan restore your glory and father in this season of anniversary of this path we are asking that this memorial event tonight we symbolically defy every confrontation of darkness on the destiny of my people on the destiny of our family on the destiny of our life on the destiny of our nation on the destiny of our community on the destiny of our life in the name of jesus So one light was sent from heaven to go and put light on everyone on the earth. Lord, in that manner, by the authority and as the same name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, we light this candle. As many as walk to this altar to lighten their candle, 
May their light never go dim in life. Yeah. As many as are connected out there, lighting their candle, may your light never go out there nor dim again. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Let the leaders come forth and light their candle. Fast. Oh, is God. All is bright. Round Round the virgin, water and child. Holy, infant soul. Jesus, the light has come upon your house. Mama, please, you can come and stand here. Pastor Graham, stand here. Every one of you, take your candle if you have. Let me fast. Don't make sure that your, your candle is lighted. From Abraham, from thy holy things, we don't all redeem in grace. Jesus, Lord, and I bet. Fast, be fast. Go and shine forth. Go and shine forth in the name of Jesus. Go and shine forth. Go and shine forth. Handle, be careful from this one candle light came upon the whole candle from this one candle light came upon the whole candle this is a symbol of unity it's a symbol of prophetic revelation and then it's also a symbol of God readiness by this revelation for our manifestation I speak to you and your house today everyone name after your family that is disconnected from the light of God by the symbol of this candle event 
Lights of salvation shall shine in your family. Yeah. Unity shall be restored to your family. Yeah. Glory of God shall be restored to your family. Yeah. Everything lacking in your family shall be supplied. Yeah. Now as you walk, you shall not miss your destination. Yeah. Now as you walk, no one shall confuse you. For what you are not, the light of God shall approve you, the light of God shall announce you, and by the grace of God, you shall manifest this light that is in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, a prayer in that every one of you connected to this meeting locally and internationally by this time next year by the grace of God we shall all be alive to celebrate another candle and caronai in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name God bless you now you begin to hold on Pastor Brian, come. Hold on. Mom, thank you. All right. L lift up the candle for a while. Lift up your candle for a while. As far as this candle can see and go, that is how your destiny will expand. Amen. It doesn't matter how long your glory has been hidden. By you, you lifting up this candle, every enemy of your glory shall give way for your light. No matter how thick the darkness is, it cannot block the light. From this day, your light shall not be blocked. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. You can bring down your candle and get it, get it off for now. Switch back your light. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hallelujah. I'd like you if you have an offering for tonight you come forth to the altar and drop your offering those of you that have asked that you come to the church and spend the night we shall be meeting around 12 we shall be meeting around 12 for our ongoing cap meeting and uh, tomorrow please wherever you are join this um, meeting we will have hourly prayers because we do know that a number of you will travel but we have to soak ourselves in the power of God, in the prayers and the blood of Jesus and be sure that we are ready to go anywhere that God will be leading us and sending us in this part of life. Praise God. Praise the Lord. If you have an offering, you can please come to the altar and drop it. Let's receive a mama to uh, pray on the offering tonight.